Good evening. I'm Megan Cruz with NASA's Office of Communication, and thank you for um, But all I want to say first is that good things are worth waiting for, and, uh, and we'll get a chance to, to see that uh, rocket and spacecraft lift off the pad here soon. Um, it was really impressive to watch the launch team uh, as the issue popped up. Uh, the count had been going very smoothly, and, uh, and, and they spotted the issue. They followed their flight rules and made the decision to scrub so that they could do some more troubleshooting and decide what we were going to do next. Um, and uh, things were going well uh, when the team noticed uh, on the Centaur there's a valve, uh, a LOX valve, that, that regulates the pressure and the Centaur upper stage. And so the pressure is very important for a couple reasons. Uh, one, you need the pressures right in both the LOX and the liquid hydrogen tank uh, to provide propellants to the RL-10 engines that will uh, fly in the second stage and take the crew into orbit, and also for structural capability of the tank. And so uh, we saw the self-regulating valve on the LOX side uh, had a bit of a buzz, and so it was it was moving in a, a strange behavior. Uh, the flight rules had been laid out uh, for this flight ahead of time with the crew at the launch pad. Uh, the proper action was to take the scrub, and the United Launch Alliance team did a great job of assessing the data, talking through various options, and put us into a scrub condition. Uh, so I did talk to the crew right before we came over here, and they're in good spirits. They totally understand uh, these kinds of situations. So um, you know, a lot of things got to go right. And it's not the majority of the things. Everything has to go right before we launch. And so something didn't go right today, and we will stand down. And when the experts tell us that it, we need to stand down, that's exactly what we do. And we'll get ready for the next, the next opportunity. Right here in the first row. Hi, Ken Kramer, Space Up Close. Thanks again. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. We have confirmation of a good MET epic time. It's just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. Press the dock.